Something that I never really told people is that I actually, I, I could have prevented this. I've been to the Cincinnati Zoo many, many times. Uh, as some of y'all might know, I'm from effing Ohio, so, you know, it's just natural that I, I've been there many times. And every single time I was there, uh, I'd visit the gorillas, and I'd see my boy Harambe. He was chilling there with a bunch of other freaking gorillas, and it was a grand old time. But how exactly does this have an effect on me being somehow related to this whole Harambe incident? Because, you know, I wasn't there the day that it happened, and all these other times are just random occurrences that I've seen him throughout my childhood. What exactly could a man like me have done it's not like i could have foreseen this happening friday may 27th 2016 my school decided to take a trip to the cincinnati zoo so that we could study the animals was so they were having a grand old time but i knew something was off the gorilla exhibit showcasing all the gorillas including yours truly harambe was not open they weren't letting anybody in how convenient that the day before such an atrocity could happen they wouldn't let anybody in the exhibit harambe is my best friend i've seen him for years why would he not let himself be seen by me on this particular day? I go home from the zoo, don't think much of it. The next day is the Sabbath, so I don't use the internet for the entire day. And once it's over, I look on the news and I find out that Harambe is gone. They finished him off. Pause. I could have done something. I was there. They didn't let me in. I could have saved him. A part of me feels like it wasn't supposed to happen that way. That Harambe's death happened because of some sort of interference. And I was not there to prevent that interference. If only I was there at the right... You know what? It's not good to reminisce on what could have been, but only on what could be. After the events of May 28th, I, uh, I visited the exhibit. Here's a little video I made a while back um, of me mourning. I sit by myself. 